Are you sick of seeing that old wood grain trim inside your car? I know I am. So you definitely are in the right place. Stay tuned because I'm going to show you how I use vinyl wrap to update my car's interior. What's going on guys? Welcome to another episode of Drive Talk Cars. If this is your first time here and you want to learn how to save money on doing your own car maintenance, mods, and other car related stuff, start now by clicking that subscribe button and that notification bell. That way you won't miss anything. All right, so in today's video, I'm going to show you how to use vinyl wrap to update your old wood grain door panel trim or it might be on your dashboard. But if you have that old wood grain trim and you don't want to see it anymore, I'm going to show you how to use vinyl wrap to update that. So the vinyl wrap that I chose, it's a vivid vinyl wrap. It's satin black. It got good reviews, so that's why I chose it. I wanted to go with black because I think it looks elegant. It's pretty timeless. I have black interior, so it should go pretty good. I chose satin because I did read some reviews that said that gloss is nice, but it shows a lot of scratches and a lot of imperfections. So I went with the satin. Uh, this is a six foot by five foot roll. It might be a little excessive. It might not be, but I chose this because I wanted to make sure that I had enough to cover the trim pieces in one piece, as well as if I mess up. It comes in various sizes, but this is the roll that I chose. All right, so let me show you what tools you're gonna to need for this particular project. All right, so the first thing we have here is a kit, vinyl wrap kit that I got off of Amazon. The link is down below in the description. And in this kit, there is a blade, a squeegee, one side's hard, the other side has like a vinyl cover on it. The other thing is a cutter, if you're like cutting off long sheets of the vinyl wrap. Then there's another tuck tool, some extra razor blades, and another tool you can use for tucking the vinyl wrap into the cracks and gaps. Next we have a prep spray. This is used to remove any contaminants or any type of grease or wax or anything that may be on wood trim. All right, and lastly you have a heating gun. The heating gun will be used to heat up the vinyl wrap and when you heat up the vinyl wrap, it becomes pliable and a little bit more flexible so you can stuff it into the gaps and creases as well as you can pull it and stretch it around corners. That way it'll have a little bit more bite and grip onto the surface. And that's the tools that you need. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is prep the car by cleaning, cleaning the trim and getting the, all contaminants off of there. So that's the first step. So let's open up the vinyl wrap here. Man, some of it's damaged. It's a nice finish though. Got a nice sheen to it. Part I'm going to cut off enough to cover it and some. What's really nice is that on the back here, there are words that you can use as a guideline to make a straight line. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is make sure that I have enough coverage over this piece here. And I don't wanna get any crease marks in it like that. So I'm gonna cut this to be a little shorter. So there you go. So, Peel off the back and put it on. All right, these gloves are becoming annoying. I'm just gonna have to make sure my hands are not oily on the main part. All right, so you peel off the backing, and then you cover your piece. It's got little air channels in it so you can pick it up like I've been doing here and reposition it. So I'm just trying to get it over all the surface nice and smooth. By having that air channel in it, it's basically like little canals that's in the back of the back of the film. 
and it allows for the air to come through so you don't get uh, bubbles or pockets of air that, that are trapped. So now here I have a curve. So I need to make sure that I get it all the way on here so it doesn't come apart. All right, so right here, we're gonna use our heating gun and we're gonna just heat up this a little bit so we can kind of pull it and let it grip. So you can see it's kind of firm right now. Once you put a little heat on it, it becomes more flexible. You don't want to put too much heat because then you'll melt it. But you can see it's a little bit more, more pliable. I'm just going to use my finger to outline, pulling a little bit. All right, so it looks like I need to do a relief cut right here. And that's just gonna alleviate some of this tension on it. A little bit more heat. All right, so as you can see, there is a little trim right here that I want to keep. I want to keep the silver part. So there's a little gap that I'm going to shove the trim into using this tool here. See how when the heat hits it, it, it kind of flops over because it's getting soft. And that's when I'm just going to stuff it into that crevice. All right guys, so as you can see, it came out pretty good. A few hiccups here and there, especially in the corners. And for my particular trim, I have that upper edge that I wanted to keep. So cutting was very, very difficult and it had to be very precise. But all in all, came out decent. It is something that is a DIY, I would say, but you have to have a lot of patience a lot also i would probably recommend taking the trim off but i wanted to show you guys how to do it with the trim still left on the car also i thought it might be a little easy 
to do since I had mostly flat trim. But the corners definitely proved to be a little difficult, but nothing you can't handle with a little time and patience. So if you like this video, please give me that thumbs up. Also check out the videos below if you want to see more DIYs, modifications, and other car related stuff. Until next time, I'm out.